Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. This is Sunday night, November 17th, and it's um, 8.13 p.m. And I wanted to go ahead and share this different kind of video with you. And it's about helping you keep your place warm this winter. You know, they say we're going to have, for as long as we're here, you know, we don't know what day we're going. So in the meanwhile, why don't we stay warm? Uh, this video shows how he's got this big roll of standard, it's about 12 inches high, I guess. He called it standard bubble wrap, like for packaging. So I guess you could buy it probably at Walmart or a package store. Guess where it would probably be cheaper. You know, where maybe even at Dollar General. I don't know. But he cut a strip of it for like the top and then he layered it a little bit don't just put them exactly together layer them up a little bit and all he did was take a bottle of water that had a squirter on it and he squirted the water on the, the window and pressed it on and then did the next one and then the next one he did a whole double wide um sliding glass door and the window over it and then he shows how he um, your outlets are a bad source of loss of heat that uh, I would have never thought of that um, they sell these little thin their kits you probably go to Lowe's or maybe Walmart anywhere that kind of thing is sold electrical supplies and therefore your outlets some of them will be for the switch plate and some will be with for the outlet electric outlet and you have to punch out the holes you know according to what you're using and you just put that little piece of foam right there and put your plate back there and screw the screw back on and there you go it's blocking that little bit of foam is blocking all that cold air coming in through that little um from behind because it's not sealed you know those things are just put there and screwed on they have no kind of seal and they're certainly they're just metal or plastic so that's two things right there now i did see the the bubble wrap in um used in a different video but this one that our sister Trisha sent me, I decided I was going to go ahead and share this because I was watching our sister Jen's video, that's One Last Chance, if she still calls it that. I think she does. But anyway, she was showing in one of her recent videos how they live in a fifth-wheel trailer, and, and they like to froze to death last year, she said. And they're installing... And they videoed how they installed a wood stove heater. <laughs> Someone said, it looks like a fire <laughs> trap to me. But, you know, if you know, read up on what you're doing. Um, research other things. Ways to stay warm this winter. Besides bundling up with three layers of clothes. You know, depending on your heat source, whether you're gas or electric or uh, solar, I mean, I hope, you know, in the winter, does solar really work all that well? I guess if you don't have a whole lot of, I don't know. I just never talked to anybody that has solar. I don't know. Soul never have known. Haven't seen a video on one. Um, but anyway. Just wanted to give you some ideas on ways you can keep your place warm. As long as we got to be here, might as well stay warm and cozy. And um, with that, I'll say, uh, well, I'm going to leave the name of the channel. Let me pull down here. This is called It's a Wonderful Life. And the picture is of that movie, It's a Wonderful Life. The old black and white Christmas special. Anyway, the title is Save Money on Heat Cooling All Year. So remember, in the summer, if we're still here then, 
You save on air conditioning by doing this also. But I like to look outside so my windows aren't getting covered. Um, I do want to share something I did. I, You know those curtains I had hanging up here before I put these red ones. Um, let's see. Can you see that? I got to see. Yeah. These red ones. This is just thin material. Now it's better than nothing. But those white curtains with the green leaves, those were shower curtains. And a shower curtain, it's, it's the fabric that's um, waterproof. In other words, the liner is optional is what it'll say. Those make excellent wind blockers. That's a tip I can give you myself. But um, I keep, and I keep these by my window. Even though they're screwed down, you can still feel a little bit. And I just rolled up some foam or um, fleece, fleece material. This used to be a, oh, my daughter got me a fleece throw. And I had to have something. And what I was using was a white towel that I had cut into three pieces and rolled up. But it just wasn't working. So I cut this into three pieces and rolled around the towel so it would be enough. And just made a snake. In fact, Buddy's has a snake head on it <laughs> with eyeballs and everything. But um, that's when he used to get to lay up in a window. But I keep those by my window, and that might help you too. If you have drafty windows or doors, you can buy those with beans in them. You could make it and pour beans in it, and it makes it heavier on the bottom part to, and makes an even better seal. If you know how to sew it all, I just made them by hand. You could just stitch you up a tube, turn it right side out, or just whip stitch it where you don't even have to turn it inside out leave it on the right side out pour in your beans if you want to do that or use an old towel like I did whatever and make you some wind blockers like that so anyway that'll be it for this video I do want to plead the blood of Jesus over y'all though and over over the video and myself and my computer and each and every one of you all your devices and all your internet connections so we can stay connected and um, with that I'll say bye for now y'all stay warm and blessed and I'll talk to you later